I just got a new toy. That big thing, that big thing, you know what I'm saying? So say hello to my little friend. Time to see what's inside the box. You gotta slice it and dice it. Just don't splice it. And voila! You got your 1000 PSI pressure washer, the spraying wand, the suction hose, along with your handy dandy foam cannon, shoulder strap, turbo nozzle, quick connect hose adapter, and a mess carrying case. Unfortunately, the battery is sold separately. You have the 60 volt and then the 20 volts. I've tried to see if the 20 volt battery could fit, but sadly it doesn't and this would be the cheaper option when it comes to purchasing batteries but you can't use it for this device the 20 volt battery is going to be compatible with some of dewalt's smaller product but if you want to use this big fella right here you gotta use the 60 volt battery you see it slips right in and then you can close the case so that it doesn't get wet and this is how you check if the battery's full now let's put the pieces in place gotta put on the turbo screw on the wand make sure that it's tight because if it ain't tight then it ain't right so screw 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 then snap on the suction hose and we're locked and loaded and ready to go this is a one-of-a-kind production because this is the first 60 volt brushless pressure washer in jamaica you gotta put the filter in the bucket and then spray 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 i'm not gonna lie to you this thing is applying some pressure a thousand psi is exactly what i needed to get the job done it's gonna allow me to finish the task fast and i'm gonna have a lot of fun while i'm doing it now we gotta put the soap in the foam sprayer and then we got to spray her gotta make it go sprinkle sprinkle and twinkle twinkle and then it's gonna get rid of all of the dirt so to start off i'm going to spray the car down with the 40 degree tip and it is doing a great job i didn't even notice but i was spraying the car on low now it's time to switch the tip so i could get a little bit more pressure i'm using the 15 degree tip had to snap it in and secure it tight that way it'll spray just right if you don't secure it then the tip will fly off and you don't want that to happen so i'm spraying the car down and it gotta go around listen this is going to make life so much easier part of the reason why i decided to get a pressure washer is because i've been washing my car by myself for the past year or so and the reason why is because i went to a couple car washes down here and the last time i went to a car wash the person i was washing my car stole the change out of my car and yes it was just change but it's not even the fact that it was changed it's the principle like if you're washing my car and i'm gonna tip you why would you take the change out of my vehicle so figured i'll just do it myself and this tool is going to make it a lot easier now it's time to spray the car with the foam sprayer so once you spray it with the soap it'll loosen up all the dirt and then you could just spray it all off with the pressure washer this is definitely a quality tool it comes with a suction hose so you could just fill up a five gallon bucket and put the hose in the bucket and spray the car or you can connect the pressure washer directly to the hose that way you won't have to keep on filling up the bucket once you finish the water as you can see little bro came out to help me out because teamwork makes the dream work so i got that bush grabbing that thing so that he can loosen up the dirt and then we can get rid of all of the ooey gooey dookie lookie spooky stuff and i definitely had to let him try out the new tool so that he could tell his friends when he go to school but now let's get into the numbers the pressure washer itself is 199 dollars but they also have a 550 PSI model for $129. But just to make it clear, those are the prices for the tools 
only. You still have to purchase the battery and the charger. The price for the 60 volt battery is about $180 without the charger. And if you were to purchase it with the charger, it would be about $240. So all in all, you're looking at spending about $500 for the entire set and it's a purchase you won't regret and i'm gonna leave that link below for sure and it's about that time if you have any questions leave them in the comments below if you like this video give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you're notified every time i make a new post